150,000 New Yorkers every year who are doubled up because they can't afford an apartment of their own. So in any case, what I would like to ask or suggest that be on the table as you're talking about the policy development thing, because I know that the gentleman said that you're uh, into policy, right? And who wouldn't be? <laughs> policy is such a wonderful right. thing. Not Why that. wouldn't you be policy? <laughs> so uh, for people who are interested in policy, what I would ask is that as this project goes along, if you would please make sure that your vision for solving public problems with this kind of development, that, that somehow that the, that the square footage for this project is used to help alleviate some of the housing problem, that means that the apartments, or a huge percentage of the apartments, have to go to affordable housing as it's termed now, but it also has to go to truly low income people. Let me interrupt well. you to say, uh, I'm, I, anybody I speak for myself, we're with you. Uh, I, we can't, we have some other no, questions. No, I understand to answer that, to. but I just, uh, I'd like it said because <coughs> when you're talking about these projects, often at the beginning, it's very much that those things sort of get, you know, pushed to the side. Well, let, let me answer your question for you and just say, mm -hmm. I think as of the Barclays the case in Atlantic Yards, I should say, mm -hmm. one has to do more than just include it in the process. One has to make sure that it's enforced mm -hmm. yes. and economical. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, my question is uh, not about the uh, project, uh, project itself. Just uh, I want to know uh, while building uh, this project, what is the best way to avoid uh, disturbing traffic and the people using uh, 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 currently this uh, station? What's Thank you. The yeah. What's the best way to? I think you talking about construction disruption. <coughs> the construction no, disruption. Disturb, oh, yeah. disturb traffic of the Yeah, uh, yeah, this is. Did you uh, think about this? I, I personally think after? Farley is very important Thank for you. this, that if Farley happens first, mm -hmm. that then you can imagine the open heart surgery of the main station uh, and then swing back. And then we, in our plan, we had Farley then swinging back to a, a major station for airport access, but that it also forms this kind of swing station while. I mean, they did it in 1963. I presume they can do it in, yeah. you know, 2020. Yeah, no, it's a good question, though. Oh, no? So thank you all very much. And thank you, guys. That was great. Thank you, Michael. Uh, an extraordinarily deep thank you to Diller Scofidio and Renfro, H3 Hardy Collaborative Architecture Shop and SOM, for all they have done for the city and for their extraordinary work here today. We are going to ask the firms if they'll allow us to display their work and thinking at the MAS Summit for New York City at Jazz at Lincoln Center in October, 17th and 18th, mark it down. A uh, very important uh, policy event in New York. Um, uh, again, special thanks to Michael Kimmelman and to our great hosts here at the Time Center, also to the MAS staff. I should name all you guys. You're also tremendous. You don't sleep. Thank you. Uh, particularly Raju, Jessica, and Stacy, but really everyone, thank you to the MAS Board of Directors, to our funders and partners uh, that are here, and to our partner, uh, the RPA. As I'm sure you all know, this year marks the 100th birthday of Grand Central Terminal. It's a great reminder that we're capable of doing great things as a city, and it's time to aspire to do great things once again. If we're truly going to get this done, it will not simply be about one individual organization. It will really take all of us working together to make it happen. So if you would like to get more involved, please email us at newpennstation at mas.org or info at mas.org, but newpennstation at mas.org. We need you, and we hope you will become uh, engaged. Our next step in this process uh, will be a city council hearing on June 19th um, concerning the special permit for Madison Square Garden. Much of what you saw here today will be on our website um, later on this afternoon, which you can get at www.mas.org. Uh, several of us are running in and out because there's been a lot of media here. We're so grateful for that. So there should be quite a lot of attention paid to what happened here this morning. So sorry for all those opening doors over there, but it was very important uh, to do that. 
Thank you all so much for being here and being part of this conversation. And we look forward to seeing you again soon in this effort for a new Penn Station and a new Madison Square Garden. Thank you. Thanks, you guys.